is doing great. Thank you for joining me. So today's reading is how did they feel the last time they saw you and what did they want to say? Um, what, what they couldn't or they were too afraid. I don't know, but we'll see. Okay. So yes, we have four groups for you to choose from as well. Group one, two, three, and four. If you do want to pause the video so you can take some time to choose your group, feel free to do so, but I shall see you all in your readings. Hey, welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the first group, then this is for you. So the person on your mind, how did they feel the last time you both saw each other? And then towards the end of the reason, <laughs> reason, towards the end of the reading, we will see any messages that they wanted to tell you um, the last time they saw you, but couldn't or didn't for whatever reason. Okay. So we'll start off with your tarot cards and the first card we have is the five of swords reversed uh high priestess reversed and the seven of cups in reverse as well so it feels like the last time this person saw you they felt at peace with you uh they could have felt like you both were at peace they felt that they didn't want conflict with you and you know this could be like i don't want to argue with you but for others of you it's in a way where it's like you're not someone um they want to speak harshly to they're not someone they you know want conflict with you know um and if it resonates they felt that they should move on from you due to communication issues it could have been the other way around where they kind of felt that you were you know moving on and transitioning from them but yeah they could have felt that there were communication issues or because of communication issues they felt it best to move on and for some of you this could maybe be more so in terms of you know a particular subject say for example you couldn't you know reach an agreement on uh, you know a certain idea or a certain topic then you know they kind of felt that they kind of just want to move on from it um, but yeah, it, it does feel like there was this underlying feeling of defensiveness. Um, but again, this doesn't really feel directed towards you, just something they felt during the last time you saw each other. And um, they felt the connection was blocked, though, or, you know, or that you both had reached an impasse in, in a certain way. And they felt that you had given up on them. And they felt you both were moving on and moving forward with your lives, you know. But they also felt that you both had uh, this understanding as well. So the last time they saw you, they felt that you were or are drama free. Um, you don't want any in your life. Um, they felt that you were secretive and, you know, you were holding back with them as well. They did feel confused by you, though. <clears throat> uh, for some of you here, it could be in terms of your generosity in some way. Uh, they could have felt confused by that. But please only take that if it resonates. For others of you, it could definitely be, you know, something that you're more aware of. <clears throat> but yeah, they the last time they saw you, they kind of felt that you both weren't being honest they felt you both weren't being upfront. Uh, this could be more so one of you than the other but it does feel like a mutual kind of energy but it could be you know again one more than the other and you know this honesty or this being upfront could be about them being a genuine person maybe they kind of felt that they weren't protesting enough you know about being a good person or about being a genuine person or about being a good person for you or to you you know but again that's kind of specific so please only take that one if it resonates um but yeah they could have felt that you both were not being honest and upfront about something you know something else something that you are more aware of yeah but the last time they saw you they could have felt actually that you have an, a distrust towards them you know or in their perspective at least 
they felt that you are standing up for yourself more or you have no problem with doing so so for some of you maybe they kind of you know they're standing up for yourself it doesn't have to be in a defensive way for for some of you it's more so in a way where they feel like if a situation was to arise where you did need to stand up for yourself and stick up for yourself that you would have no problem uh doing so you know so for some of you they uh, felt that you yeah um you were standing up for yourself in that way but they, at the same time, they feel like there's something about you where you don't really feel the need or you don't really have to stand up for yourself. But if push came to shove, that you would have no problem with that, you know. But the last time they saw you, they definitely felt that they would like to communicate more with you. But at the same time, they felt that they could potentially put you in a harmful position or situation. And this does feel like it's because of a third party. It doesn't have to be romantic. This could be a friend even for some of you guys or a family member. Um, for some of you here, I'm getting a message that their friend likes you. And this friend could be dangerous or they have, you know, issues with jealousy and stuff like that. Um, or this could be an ex. But this doesn't feel like a current partner. This doesn't feel like someone they're interested in in a romantic way, if any of you are wondering. But they do feel hesitant to, I don't know if it's to approach you, to communicate with you, but they do feel hesitant because of a third party energy, you know? Yeah, so the last time they saw you, they felt that they needed to be honest with you, but they felt that they couldn't, you know? And this honesty, this could actually be about thinking you were beautiful, are beautiful, sorry, or that they find you intimidating, or maybe even the circumstances that you guys were in the last time they saw you. So even though they maybe wasn't honest with you the last time they saw you, they definitely felt this urge, this push, this desire to be honest with you. So the last time they saw you, they also felt that you don't show people the true you or you hide how smart you really are, like how clued in and aware you um, truly are. But at the same time, they were kind of wishing you were more blunt. They were wishing you were more, you know, again, honest and uh, talkative or communicative. Is that how you say it? <laughs> With them. So the last time they saw you, they also felt that you need a lot of attention. But this doesn't necessarily uh, feel like it's in a way where you are an attention seeker or were you know seeking attention but in a way where you need more support or people in your life who are attentive to you like that's the way they felt that you need more attention um but yeah the last time they saw you they kind of felt that you were secretive you know they um they they could feel or they felt that you weren't or wouldn't be loyal to them for whatever reason you know they could have felt you were or are disconnected from yourself maybe they feel like you have you know things going on in your mind but they did feel like this disconnection not only from you but they kind of felt that you were disconnected from yourself in some way you know um you know maybe you were tired or drained i don't know or you know when you're kind of seem like a bit aloof like your head is just not there i don't know some of you they could have felt that way about you during the last time they saw you um but yeah they they definitely felt that they needed to be more realistic when it comes to you and um for some they definitely felt that maybe you have limited options um, or you're just a bit more restricted in life at the moment. But they kind of feel that you are trying to avoid conflict, issues and drama. Or you just don't want that energy in your life. So you kind of, you know, tap out. Maybe you distance yourself because of that. And yeah. But they did, they do feel, or they did feel, they feel <laughs> that they've missed an opportunity with you. 
Uh, it's like the last time they saw you, they felt like they should have said something. They could have said something. They, maybe they felt like they had the opportunity, but they feel like they missed it because they didn't make the most out of that opportunity or just other things were going on. So they definitely could have felt they missed an opportunity with you because of that. The last time they saw you, they did feel emotional about you, though. And, and this could actually be, be that you seemed kind of closed off to them. Have more cards. Sorry, one second. Page of Wands. Yeah, they felt that you were very beautiful, very attractive. They felt that they should have been more rebellious or that they needed to be more rebellious and outspoken. And they could regret that, actually. Do you have more? Okay. Okay, one second. Yeah. So now let's have a look at what they wanted to say to you the last time they saw you, but didn't or couldn't, you know, for whatever reason. And I pulled this card to see what their next action might be towards you but we'll have a look and see what that could be uh towards the end of the reading okay so the first card we have is i want to feel your skin against my own of course <laughs> yeah so this is more of how they felt as opposed to maybe what they wanted to say um Maybe actually for some of you, they wanted to say something, you know, that kind of conveyed the message that uh, they wanted to be closer to you. But this is another feeling they had that they did feel they wanted to be closer to you. Maybe they felt the need to to touch you or, you know, to hold you in some way, you know, even if it's just a touch of the hand or, you know, exchanging something with you. Um, but yeah, they definitely felt like being closer to you the last time they saw you so we also have you impress me more and more each day yeah they wanted to tell you that they do find you to be impressive they kind of felt that you inspired them as well did they want to yeah they wanted to say that Yeah, this maybe isn't something they would, I don't know, feel comfortable saying at this time or maybe the last time they saw you. But yeah, so we also have it's not, not just physical, it's also spiritual. So the last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you, or this is another feeling they had, that the connection they have with you is beyond skin deep, you know, it's beyond just how attractive they find you. They also feel like they have this tie to you, this bond to you, you know. Do you have more from this card? So we also have I deserve better. They wanted to tell you that they kind of feel that you deserve better. But this doesn't feel like, oh, you deserve better than me. It feels like you deserve better than something else that could be going on in your life or maybe in reference to your past, uh, maybe even in reference to another person, you know, in your life or potentially that could come into your life, right? Do you have more from this card? They also wanted to tell you that they feel that they deserved better. And again, not, not better than you, than something else going on in their lives. For some of you, it could be in terms of their lifestyle, uh, maybe their living situation, but please only take that one if it makes sense. They wanted to tell you that they do find you to be captivating. They do find you to be magical 
two tens. Do you have more than this card? Yeah, so they definitely wanted to tell you that they feel this bond to you. It feels like they regret not saying something, you know, even if they didn't want it to come out, you know, or like um, whimsical and stuff, you know, they still, Ace of Swords came out. They still wanted to um, tell you that they felt this connection to you. They felt this, uh, this tie to you, you know. Do you have more? For some of you, they kind of felt that you guys were soulmates in a way or have some sort of purpose or meaning in each other's lives, you know, even if it's a small part or a big part. I don't know if they wanted to say this out loud, though, if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, they definitely felt that there was something deeper, you know. So we have, oh, so you think I'm stupid. What did they want to tell you the last time? Three. so for some of you here the last time they saw you they wanted to tell you that they don't underestimate you that they don't think you're silly you know and that they wanted you to know that do you have more from this card okay so we have i tell my family and friends about you Yeah, so they definitely wanted to tell you that you are a topic of discussion, you know, maybe amongst their family, amongst their friends. You know, I might do a reading soon on what they tell their family and friends about you guys. So if any of you are interested in that reading, um, yeah, then I should be doing that soon, hopefully. OK, um, but yeah, so that's another thing they wanted to tell you. They tell their family and friends about how they feel about you as well. Okay, so we also have, I've been trying to contact you. So the last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that they have been trying to reach out to you. They have been trying to approach you or talk to you or initiate a certain topic of conversation with you. Um, but I don't know, with the Eight of Cups coming out to clarify, it feels like... Maybe they've, I don't know if they've given up completely, but it does feel like it's just like uh, the energy of maybe like, I don't know if what's the point is even the right way to say it. For some of you, maybe they feel like too much has happened. For some of you, maybe they feel like too much time has gone by. So we have secrets. Hmm. Yeah, so for some of you here, they wanted to tell you that they feel like there is a lot of secrets kind of surrounding your connection like a lot of unknown variables are surrounding your connection. I don't know what that could mean for, you know, your individual situations, but yeah. And it's not, you know, I know the message earlier came up of they could find you to be secretive, um, but this doesn't feel like what that's about, you know, it doesn't feel like um, it's about you being secretive or about them being keeping secrets, but it feels like, you know, an outside energy, you know, possibly impacting your connection. Like there's so many things unknown, you know. So we also have a more you don't feel the same. Yeah, so they wanted to tell you that they are worried you don't feel the same way as they do. And finally, we have, well, not finally, we have one more card, but we also have opposites attract. 
they wanted to tell you that they think you both are very different but they feel like it could work as well or they feel like it would be good you know that the fact that you guys are very different they feel like it wouldn't be a negative you know if anything they feel like it would work in your favor and let's see so finally we have gift of freedom big break away from your attachments and this is their next action uh possible potential next action towards you so i'm going to see if i can clarify that so please only take this if it resonates but for some of you here the next time they see you they may want to try to get you to break away from certain attachments maybe uh you know what they could perceive as you being restricted or you know maybe keeping to yourself or whatever it may be it's like they kind of want to i don't know if burst your bubble is the right way to say it but um yeah they definitely want to kind of pull you away from something that they feel like could be either an unhealthy attachment or something that's kind of keeping you restricted in some way for some of you, it could definitely be them. Um, like if this person is the more restricted one, the next time they see you, they're going to try and be less so, you know, kind of be more free in their approach towards you. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for this here group. I do hope it could resonate and be helpful and make sense. Um, but I am wishing you all the best. Okay, please take care of yourselves. Bye. hi welcome to your reading if you've chosen the second group then this reading is for you okay so the person on your mind how did they feel the last time you saw each other and then towards the end of the reading um we will have a look at what they wanted to say but felt like they couldn't you know so the first card we have is the chariot reversed uh, we have the Fool in the upright position, and we also have the Temperance card in reverse. So we have three major arcana here. Hmm. So let's see, how did they feel the last time you saw each other? So the last time they saw you, they could have felt unmotivated. Um, they felt that you wanted to move more slowly than they did as well. And they kind of felt that you were maybe being pushy or stubborn. And they felt that you both weren't really making much progress or any progress in their perspective, you know, or... Um, For some of you, they could have felt that there isn't much direction for the two of you, either at this time or in general, or just the last time they saw you. They felt that you were vulnerable the last time they saw you as well, and they felt that they didn't have or show much self-control the last time they saw you. They could have felt that you were aggressive towards them or maybe even a little bit hostile in some way. And they kind of felt that they should have been more pushy or insistent with you. They felt that you looked innocent or you looked really cute and sweet, you know. Um, or they kind of felt that you were being innocent in some way. But they felt that you are very unique as well and definitely your own person the last time they saw you and they felt that you wanted freedom and um you know this freedom could be from them from something else in your life you know from tradition i don't know um but yeah they felt that you wanted some type of freedom maybe freedom with them even you know like freedom to explore, to do whatever. Um, but yeah. 
Oh. For some of you here, they felt that you were being too dependent or that it could turn out that way. And I don't know if this is dependent on them, on parents or someone else, friends, I don't know. Um, but yeah, they could have felt that you were being too dependent. For some of you, it was a fear of you becoming dependent in some way. Uh, but please only take that if it makes sense though, okay? Um, but it felt like they had a lot of fun the last time they saw you, uh, you know? For some of you, I mean, they could have had fun with you. I mean, depending on your circumstances, they could have fun with you. Or maybe they were kind of just in a playful kind of fun energy when they saw you last. So, yeah, they could have felt that you were young or they felt that you were too young for some of you here. Um, but, yeah, they definitely wanted to have more fun with you the last time they saw you. They wanted to take more risks with you as well. They de they definitely felt like they weren't be behaving um, maturely enough or they weren't behaving seriously they felt that they were maybe being too silly, you know? They felt that you were or are someone that they can have fun with. They felt that this was a new beginning, a new start with you the last time they saw you as well. And they kind of felt that they were able to show you a different side to them. They felt that you made a big impact on them as well. Um, but the last time they saw you, they kind of felt unstable in themselves. You know, they maybe they felt like they were in a bit of a chaotic energy. And maybe it's like they... I'm, get, I'm getting the message that they could have felt like they were acting out of character. Maybe they kind of felt like they were being a bit too much. They could have felt that you both were being argumentative or maybe that they were. Um, they definitely felt that they were behaving immaturely as well. For some of you, it could be the two of you or it could just be them. But please don't take what resonates, you know. But yeah, they kind of felt that they didn't get the chance to be honest or to clear something up with you. But at the same time, they felt like they should have been a little more reckless when it came to you. They felt that they were being too impulsive. They felt that they were being too presumptuous, maybe, as well. They felt that they were being too over the top. But if, at, at the same time, it feels like they didn't really care, you know, because it's like I'm acknowledging I'm being immature. I'm acknowledging I'm you know, trying to be pushy or reckless. But at the same time, I don't really care, you know. Um, but yeah, they could have felt for some of you that you were trying to annoy them. How so? How so? Yeah, they kind of felt like you both were maybe trying to annoy each other. Um, but yeah, let's see what messages we get from them. Okay, so what did they want to tell you the last time they saw you, but they didn't? So we have here random thought, I love your belly. So the last time they saw you, they definitely wanted to tell you something random. I don't know if it's about your belly, though, if I'm being honest. Let me see what this could be about. What did they want to tell you? Hmm. For some of you, they wanted to tell you that they kind of think that you have no problem taking accountability. Okay, but please, again, only take that if it resonates. 
did they want to tell you something about your belly okay for some of you they actually did want to tell you that they love your belly area <laughs> do you have more from this card i feel like there's more one second nah okay okay yeah so we have innocence again so what did they want to tell you they wanted to tell you that they think you're innocent i mean this could be innocent in terms of a specific situation i mean the justice card did come out when i was clarifying that um, message so for some of you maybe they kind of feel like you are innocent in you know like say for example someone accused you of some something they feel like you're innocent in terms of that okay but for others of you this innocence could just be in terms of your energy maybe your looks maybe you have like cute features i don't know um, but yeah they definitely wanted to tell you that they think you're innocent in some way <clears throat> so we have here i'm sorry okay Hmm. okay so for some of you here the last time they saw you they did want to tell you that they were sorry or apologetic three of cups reversed um this could be in terms of not inviting you out somewhere to a celebration to a party but yeah they wanted to apologize for not inviting you out making you maybe feel unwanted in some way for some of you, they maybe wanted to apologise for making you feel like you're lacking, okay? Like, imagine Five of Pentacles energy, yeah. So they could want have wanted, could have wanted to apologise for that as well. Okay, yeah, I knew there was going to be some type of sexual card coming out. So if you're not asking about anyone in a romantic or sexual way, then, you know, please just disregard those messages. But yeah, so the last time they saw you, um, what did they want to tell you? I'm not gonna lie this feels like more of a question as opposed to something they wanted to tell you they wanted to ask you if you wanted to have sex with them you know like you know um but yeah so we also have keep it real with me be blunt clear and honest communication is really important to me so what did they want to tell you Yeah, so they could have wanted to tell you that they like honesty, they like clear and honest communication. Uh, for others of you, they wanted to tell you that they need you or want you to be more blunt. Maybe even be more specific. For others of you, it could be the other way around where they kind of wanted to tell you something or you know tell you that they want to be able to kind of be more clear blunt uh communicative honest with you but it feels like yeah they wanted to tell you to keep it real with them in some way you know okay so we have here i masturbate to the thought of you okay so again like this feels like a question this also feels like something they wanted to tell you that they do have like sexual fantasies about you for others of you they wanted to ask you if um you know you masturbate or maybe they wanted to ask you if you masturbate um you know it at the thought of them um but yeah for others of you it could definitely be the other way around where they wanted to tell, to tell you that they do fantasize about you in that way So we also have bitter. Oh, what they want to tell you? They wanted to tell you that someone else is bitter about what? About you? No. About both of you? No. Yeah. 
Okay, so for some of you here, this is more so a worry. I mean, obviously, if you're aware of someone, like a third party, outside influence, you know, this person could be bitter if you are aware of this person. But for others of you, uh, the, the person you're asking about, they wanted to tell you that they're worried about other people being um, bitter when it comes to you or when it comes to the both of you together, okay? Do you have more from this card? Okay. So we also have, is it bad that I've never made love? So for some of you here, they wanted to tell you, I mean, I'm getting a bit like different messages with this one. But yeah, they could have wanted to tell you either that they haven't slept with someone for a while. Um, for others of you, they wanted to tell you that they haven't made love before, maybe have never been in love before. Maybe they even wanted to tell you that they're not really good at romantic or, you know, lovey-dovey type of stuff as well. For others of you, they wanted to tell you that they're not, you know, good at commitment, you know, stuff like that. So please take what resonates. So we also have gifts. So yeah, the last time they saw you, they did want to tell you that they kind of think you're a gift. They feel like you're special, you know. Um, wait, hold on. For some of you here, the last time they saw you, it's like they were hesitant to actually maybe ask you to give them a gift. I mean, I don't know if this is something physical, um, but yeah, they definitely wanted to ask you to give them something, you know, whether it be a gift or something that you currently have. So we also have here, you were better than I. Um, you were better than I was ready for. Yeah, that's exactly what they wanted to tell you, that they feel like you are better than maybe than they're currently ready for or what then or what they were ready for in the past, you know? Okay, so we also have my family doesn't approve. So yeah, for some of you here they wanted to tell you that maybe some of their family or a certain family member or certain friend even doesn't approve of their connection with you maybe this is the source of that bitter energy um, and that could be why they're hesitant in some way because they feel like someone won't approve maybe this person has been bitter you know so it's like no matter you know how i present you or you know how i feel about you this person is just going to be bitter you know um, but yeah, and finally we have you are mine back off my babe. <laughs> yeah, so the last time they saw you, they could have felt quite possessive over you. They felt like you were theirs. Um, five of Wands. So yeah, they definitely felt like they would fight off the competition. It feels like with that Five of Wands coming out to clarify. So I pulled this card to see what their next action towards you might be. Um, so yeah, I'll see what that's. So we have here ending a trauma, transform memories and symptoms. Hmm. So what is their next action? Obviously that may not resonate for everyone, but yeah, let's see. What is their next action towards you? Yeah, so their next action towards you is to put an end um, to uh, a difficult time in your connection, uncertainty as well. Um, the hangman, the hang money came out to clarify. So yeah, that could be a part of their next action towards you to get rid of uncertainty, to put an ending to, you know, any painful memories or experiences that you may have had with this person, you know. Uh, but yeah, that is all I have for this group. I do hope it could resonate. I do hope it can make sense for you. But I am wishing you guys the best. Okay, take care. Bye. Hi, all. Welcome to your reading. If you've chosen the third group, then this reading is for you. Okay, so... 
the person on your mind um what did they want to tell you the last time no no that's not what we're doing first how did they feel the last time they saw you and then towards the end of your reading we'll look at what they wanted to tell you at what they wanted to say but maybe felt too hesitant to or they couldn't you know due to circumstances i don't know but yeah we'll see so we have the four of cups upright Oops. we have the star upright as well and we also have the two of swords so what did they want to tell you the last time they saw you So the last time they saw you, they kind of felt that you were getting bored with them. Or for some of you, this was more so a fear as opposed to anything that you may have said or, you know, conveyed during like through body language or, you know, I don't know, eye rolls. I don't know. OK, but uh, they could have definitely had a fear that you would grow bored with them. Um but for some of you, this could be more so something specific, like say, for example, they liked um, painting boats. I don't know. The most, I don't know. OK, but say they do like have a hobby, like they could feel like you would grow bored of their hobby or maybe hearing about something that they're interested in. Or it could be something you are more aware of. Uh, but there was that fear there of boredom. Um the last time they saw you, they definitely felt regret about an interaction that they had with you the last time you both saw each other. They felt really disappointed at how your last interaction went as well. They kind of felt that you were uh, disinterested. For some, they felt that you were not interested in money. They kind of felt like the last time they saw you, you were emotional, but hiding it. For some of you, they definitely felt that they had missed an opportunity with you, an opportunity at a healthy connection or, you know, righting a wrong. And the last time they saw you, they kind of felt that they would definitely think about you and fantasize about you a lot after um you know you guys weren't together anymore or you were out of their vicinity or their eyesight you know they kind of thought that they would think about you a lot they felt like they didn't make the most out of your last meeting as well they could have felt that you were depressed or maybe just a bit down in the dumps about something. They felt that the connection was, you know, or is stagnated in a way. They felt that you uh, were, are very desirable. The last time they saw you, they kind of felt that they should be more positive towards you. Like maybe be nicer to you. They kind of felt that they were or they have been, uh, you know, maybe too withdrawn when it comes to you. They felt quite happy the last time they saw you, though. Whether they showed that or not, they did feel happy to see you. They kind of felt that they had a spiritual connection with you as well, and they felt They felt like they had or have like they felt like they have a good idea in regards to kind of changing things between the both of you as well. It's like the last time they saw you kind of gave them this aha moment, you know, at how they could, you know, change. Yeah, transform your connection in some way. Change the dynamics, maybe even, you know. But yeah, the last time they saw you, they kind of got this feeling that they needed to help you, uh, maybe help you heal.
But at the same time, they felt like that isn't something they can necessarily do for you. But they definitely felt a desire to, you know. Or do you know how like, you know, when like, uh, like support buddy or, you know, someone to hold your hand while you're going through a difficult time or a shoulder to lean on. It's like, even though I can't feel what you're feeling, even though I can't literally give you the energy to, you know, do what has to be done for you to heal I don't know um you know or to take on your responsibilities but at the same time I kind of just want to be that support for you you know yeah so the last time they saw you they definitely felt that they wanted peace and harmony between the both of you they wanted you to pour your feelings and your emotions into them, you know. They felt that they weren't getting anywhere with you. Um, this could be in terms of moving forward with you, either as a whole or in terms of something specific. And, you know, for some of you here, they kind of felt that you both were indecisive. And they kind of felt like their feelings for you kind of puts them in a difficult situation or a difficult position as well. And, you know, this could be actually because they are trying to manifest something that isn't necessarily in alignment with their feelings for you, you know, or what they want with you. So they kind of feel conflict. They kind of feel stuck in the middle. Uh, when it comes to maybe their desires or maybe, you know, other responsibilities they have in their life and uh you know with you and what they want with you mm. uh, but yeah the last time they saw you they did feel that you were are a dream come true for them but they also felt conflicted you know they felt that they needed to be more decisive when it comes to you you know and kind of uh, yeah, I kind of approach you, take more initiative when it comes to you as well. So now we're going to be looking at um, what they wanted to tell you the last time they saw you, but couldn't. Okay, so we have here uh, addictions. So the last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that they do struggle with addictions. And I don't know if this is something they're currently going through in their life or it's just something that's always with them. You know, something they always have to, you know, kind of be mindful of. But they did want to tell you that. So we also have here, I judged you way too quickly. Again, I'm getting a different message with this card, but the last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that they feel like someone in particular judged you way too quickly and they're kind of sorry for either sticking to that judgment or not finding out, you know, like, um, you know, their own experiences or their own opinions of you, like kind of going off someone else's judgment of you. But for others of you, um, they kind of regret not sticking up for you, you know, and not maybe putting this other person in their place or just kind of telling them to ease off when it comes to you and their judgments in terms of you, you know? So we also have, you are so fudging sexy. <laughs> yeah, so the last time they, told, they saw you, they definitely wanted to tell you how desirable they find you, how sexy they find you and attractive. We also have moving on. So if it resonates for your situation, the last time they saw you, they actually wanted to tell you that they are struggling uh, in terms of moving on from you. So we also have, you are so strong, but you don't have to do this alone. Yeah, they wanted to tell you that they wish they could support you. 
they wish that you didn't have to maybe make so much sacrifices as well. Yeah, they wanted to tell you that they want to help you, you know, they don't like to see you maybe going through certain things alone or maybe even just being alone. We also have, I don't know how this shit will end, but I know that I want to try. Yeah, I feel like that's the kind of sentiment they wanted to tell you the last time they saw you. It's like, uh, you know, with the two of swords, it's like, it's very uncertain, you know, but you are a dream to me. I find you very attractive. I find you very strong and that you have so many qualities that I desire and I love, um, you know, and I don't really know what it's going to look like moving forward you know for the two of us but i do know i am you know invested you know i do know that i want to try with you so we also have i'm so used to flying solo So yeah, for some of you here, the last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that they are very much used to being selfish, you know, um, but when it comes to you, they don't want to do that anymore, you know, especially with that two of swords, the message earlier, I think was something along the lines of, it's like they don't want to have to choose between you and something else, but it's like something that they're trying to work towards is kind of getting in the way of, you know, how they approach you, um, but yeah, they don't want to operate from like a selfish place, you know? <laughs> so we also have selfless. Yeah, they wanted to tell you that they're trying to be more selfless, that they want to be more selfless. So we also have how motherfucking yes. <laughs> what did they want to tell you? They wanted to tell you that you excite them, that they're excited about you. They wanted, they, for some of you, if you asked this person a question, they could have wanted to tell you yes. Um, maybe they didn't tell you that the last time they saw you, but that's what they wanted to tell you. So we also have liquid courage. So they wanted to tell you that they kind of feel like you both need more courage in some way. Um, yeah. Okay, so we have here... If you wanted to read that yourself. Yeah, they wanted to tell you that they're very sexually attracted to you. And finally, we have your imperfections are perfection. Yeah, they wanted to tell you that they find, you know, what people could deem as imperfect. They find it perfect. You know, they find you perfect. They find your imperfections perfect, okay? And um, finally, we'll look into their next action towards you. I know this may not resonate for everyone, but we'll see, okay? So we have here willpower. Improve your willpower to reduce stress level, okay? So that could be what this courage is about. Um, what did they want to, uh, what are we doing? <laughs> oh, their next action. Yeah, their next action is to definitely show more willpower, to be, I don't know if aggressive is the right word, but definitely to be more forthright. Their next action is also to help, either to help you reduce your stress levels, uh, maybe for them to reduce their stress levels as well. But yeah, their next action towards you feels like to kind of approach you kind of being less anxious in some way. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for this group. I do hope it can resonate. I do hope it can make sense for you. Um, but I am wishing you all the best on your journeys, okay? Please take care. Bye. Hi. So the person on your mind, what did... Uh, how did they feel the last time they saw you? What did they want to say that maybe they felt like they couldn't? Okay, and we'll do that towards the end of the reading, okay? So, 
we'll start off with the tarot cards how did they feel the last time you guys saw each other all right so we have the tower upright we also have the knight of pentacles reverse and we also have the nine of wands Okay, so the last time they saw you, the last time you saw each travel, maybe the last time they saw you, I don't know, but they felt struck by you somehow, you know, and you know, this could be different for everyone, but it feels like they felt struck by like the gravity of their feelings for you you know for some of you this was by your looks they felt maybe struck by your beauty how you looked um they felt hesitant though the last time they saw you as well it's like they wanted to talk you they wanted to talk to you or they wanted to say um they wanted to say something to you like they wanted to just blurt it out you know but they didn't um it feels like they felt very nervous the last time they saw you as well they felt chaotic too like their body was uh, on fire like they felt very anxious you know they felt a desire to make big changes in your connection um they also could have felt that you were quite chaotic too or that you were just really busy and they kind of felt confused uh, the last time they saw you confused on what action they should take with you it feels like and okay please only take this next message if it makes sense but they kind of felt that you were destructive and i don't know this doesn't necessarily feel good or bad this could be in terms of uh your work or your stability and i don't really get where this message is coming from so please only take that if it makes sense you know for some of you here, the last time they saw you, they felt that you were dealing with a lot of trauma, you know, either currently or related to your past, like you've been through a lot. And they kind of felt like that's still stuck with you, you know, they feel like it's definitely still impacting you in some way. Yeah, but there is this message that they kind of felt that you have dealt with a lot in your life a lot of tough stuff you know a lot of tough shit unfortunately uh the last time they saw you they could have felt that you were in pain you know they could have got the feeling uh that they needed to move slowly with you as well and for some of you here they felt angry the last time they saw you as well because they could have felt that you had or have so much burdens, so much responsibilities, or they got the feeling that you don't want to or can't take on any more responsibilities right now. And that kind of left them feeling frustrated, that left them feeling a bit angry. And I don't, I don't know if at this, wait, hold on. I mean, for some of you, you know, depending on the person you're asking about, this could have mean, you know, angry at you, or this could be like angry for you, you know? And again, you know, if it is angry at you, it feels, it feels misguided, you know, it feels like, oh, because I can't change the situation, then, you know, I have, that's the only thing I can do is just kind of be angry, you know, just be mad at the situation. But it doesn't feel like they have this anger towards you, though, you know, if that makes any sense. But like, say, for example, like you're really busy, you can't go out, you can't, you know, do this or that with them, you can't spend time with them, then I'm angry at you. I know it's not your fault. You know, I know it's maybe due to your circumstances or whatever. Um, but yeah, OK. Um, oh. Yeah, so for some of you here. For some of you here, they could have actually felt angry that you are always on the go. Um, and for some of you, they felt or feel like you see them as immature. Uh, so that could be another point of frustration for this person.
but yeah the, the last time they saw you they felt really unstable you know um this could be because they were feeling unhappy and you know this unhappiness doesn't necessarily feel like it's to do with you it feels like it's just personal things but you know for some of you they were definitely actually upset about you too on top of everything else because they feel like they are losing you maybe they feel like they've lost you or that you're kind of just distanced from them even if you guys are together every day you know they feel like you're distanced from them in some way you know yeah for some of you here the last time they saw you they kind of there was this worry that they can't or won't get anywhere with you they felt that somehow you both were at odds with each other maybe there wasn't even anything specific that happened to make them feel that way but they kind of felt a vibe you know um the last time they saw you they could have felt guarded as well because they felt insecure or because you seemed guarded yourself or they you you seemed kind of shy or just a bit introverted they could have felt that you were dealing with you know a lot of setbacks and delays they feel they felt you were are so strong and courageous as well the last time they saw you but for some of you here they kind of felt like you might hurt them you know if they were to be honest with you about how they feel And, you know, for some of you here, they kind of felt that they should give up because it's too hard or they feel like down the road or inevitably it will become too hard. Uh, yeah, so for some of you here, they kind of felt that you would give them bad news. And for some of you, they could have felt that you were irresponsible in terms of commitment. anything else okay so let's see what did they want to say to you the last time they saw you but couldn't Let me put that here okay so we have whipped cream plus your nips equals yum <laughs> so the last time they saw you they wanted to tell you that they wanted to do some freak stuff with you, okay? <laughs> so we have here Nomad. Yeah, the last time they saw you, they could have wanted to tell you that they feel that you are a bit of a nomad in some way. And I don't know, this could be in terms of you moving around a lot, but for others of you, this is in terms of you constantly growing, constantly changing maybe constantly you know exploring your potential or kind of doing this and that just experiencing life maybe making the most out of your life maybe making the most out of your opportunities and for some of you they wanted to tell you that they wanted to tell you that maybe they kind of don't see you as settled or wanting to be settled because for some of you maybe this is because of your ambition or because of all the things that you want to do um, but yeah, for some of you, maybe it's just an energy they kind of get from you. So we also have, I don't think this is going to work. I don't, I don't know if this is something they wanted to say. This feels like more of a worry to them. Maybe they wanted to vocalize that worry to you that they feel like something's off or just something won't work out between the two of you. And they wanted to tell you that. So we have here Dreamer. Seven of Cups came out to clarify that one. So for some of you, they wanted to tell you that they fantasize about you a lot. But this feels more like dreams. Maybe they dream about you a lot. Do you have more from this card? Or 
or maybe they kind of want to tell you that they had a dream about you you also have nothing will stand in my way The last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that they do fight, think you have a lot of courage. But they also wanted to tell you that they don't want something or someone to get in their way. But again, this doesn't feel like it's in regards to you. It feels like maybe something else, like say, for example, a goal they have. They don't, they want to tell you that, you know, they would pursue that goal regardless, you know. We also have you are stronger than you give yourself credit for. They wanted to tell you that they feel like you don't give yourself enough credit. They wanted to tell you that you have left a big impact on them as well. Do you have more from this card? I feel like they did want to tell you that the connection they have with you will affect them for a long time, you know, if not inevitably, you know. So we also have I want to be of service to you. They wanted to tell you that they want you kind of both to be of service to each other. So we also have, it looks like I'm paying attention, but really I'm mapping out your nakedness in my mind. Yeah, they wanted to tell you that they do fantasize about you a lot. They do kind of imagine what you would look like without any clothes on okay okay so we have deep throat as well Yeah, so the last time they saw you, they definitely wanted to tell you that they do want to be uh, intimate with you, okay? And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> okay, we have potential. The last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that they feel like you have a lot of potential. And also the connection that you have together, they feel like it has a lot of potential as well. But for some of you here, maybe they kind of feel like you both are at different phases in your life or maybe you, they kind of feel like you both want different things. And finally, we have there are so many things left unsaid. Yeah, so the last time they saw you, they wanted to tell you that there is a lot that they think there is a lot that they want to say to you. But for whatever reason, they can't just come out and say it. Maybe it's due to circumstances. Why? Why can't they say Why? Why? For some of you, they feel like they can't say these things because if, it, like, in their perspective, they kind of feels like it sounds redundant. They feel like it may sound boring or silly. It's like, if I say this stuff out loud to you, then, then it m might sound a bit silly, you know? So they that could be a worry for this person. And, um, yeah. And that could be why they do leave a lot left unsaid between you both. So I pulled this card for what the next action towards you might be. And it says, do not be frustrated, let go and feel peaceful. So this person's next action towards you is to definitely bring more peace to your connection. It's like if there was a point of tension in your connection, they want to let go of that so that you guys can move on so that you guys can be you know at peace 
Um, but yeah, the next action towards this, towards you, towards the connection, is maybe to be more generous, to be like more back and forth, more equality, more fairness between you both. Um, but yeah, it feels like they kind of just want to bring peace in your connection to them. Maybe let go of something in particular so that there is peace, you know, so that there is no more frustration. But yeah, that is all I have for this group. I do hope it can resonate. I do hope it can make sense. Um, but I am wishing you all the best on your journeys, okay? Please take care of yourselves. Bye.